welcome to Mustard TV, where we sow seeds of fun and faith. I'm Francine. Uh, Benny, what are you doing? I'm shooting love arrows. What do you think I'm doing? Uh, why are you shooting love arrows? Because love is in the air, Francine. Okay. Well, kids, that's what we're going to talk about today. Love. And we're also going to have our Bible character of the week. And this week, Saint. In short, the three Adams are going to teach us again cool, cool, cool tips. We'll be back later. And don't ever touch that remote. Not even a single peek at it, okay? I got my ad. Did you know that the lilac flower means new love and innocence? Time for another Bible quiz! Bible quiz! Which of these did God create first? A. Sun B. Light C. Moon D. Sea The answer is B. Light Bible Character of the Week Hi kids! Today let's talk about Elijah, our Bible Character of the Week. Although he appears in the Bible without any fanfare, and nothing is known of his background or origin, he was able to prove to the people who the real God is. It was during his time that many people worshipped pagan gods, so Elijah challenged them. Let's go to Mount Carmel and see who the real God is. Whoever can bring down fire from heaven, that would be the real God. And so they went there. While Elijah sat in one corner, the others started dancing around the altar. We want fire! Give us fire! But none came after hours of worship. And then, when it was Elijah's turn, he simply said, Lord, fire please! and fire came down from heaven. And so this man, because of his challenge to pagan worship, and of course his faith in God, was given the name Elijah, which means, my God is Yahweh. So kids, no need to question, no need to think, no need to doubt. We know who the real God is. Number 13, 1788, New York City was declared temporary United States capital. September 16, 1638, the second king of France, King Louis XIV, was born. September 18, 1891, Jose Rizal finished his novels that told about the hardships of the Filipino under the Spanish rule. September 6, 1834, Manila was opened to world trade which changed the country's economy.
Did you know that? Did you know that the Spanish translation for the statement "I'm in love with you" is "estoy enamorando"? Time for another Bible quiz. Bible quiz. What did God do on day seven? A created man. B slept. C created animals. Or D rested. The answer is D rested. Time for art and soul. Here's Ate Roby. Art and soul. Hello kids, it's me again, Ate Roby. Welcome to Art and Soul. Kusan hindi lang puro art, meron ding soul. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay pointillism. Teka lang, mukhang nakakunot na yung mga noon ninyo. Hindi mahirap to, madali lang to. Ito ang mga gagamitin natin. Oslo paper, pencil, pencil pen, gunting, tsaka iba't ibang kulay ng poster paint, um, cotton buds, tsaka old newspaper. Ganito, una natin gagawin ay, ayan, kuha tayo ng Oslo paper. Isip kayo ng kahit anong-ano, nagdo-drawing kayo ng kahit anong bagay. Pwedeng hayop o kaya yung mga ma magagandang bagay na gusto ninyo. Ito ay ako, katulad ng isang araw. Ayan. Tapos, kasi, ayan. Tapos, para mas makita yung ginawa ninyong drawing, pwede ninyong i-gamitan ng pencil pen para ma-outline ito. Ayan. Outline Ayan. Tapos, pwede nyo nang gupitin. Gamit, gamitin ang scissors. Ayan. Dahan-dahan sa paggamit ng gunting. Pwede kayo magpatulong pag hindi pa kayo masyado marunong gumamit ng gunting. Para hindi kayo masugatan kasi naku, pag nasugatan kayo. Ayan. Tanggalin lang natin yung mga sobrang papel. Diba? Madali lang naman. Kayang-kaya niyong gawin. Pero mas masaya to pag may kasama kayo. Lalo na kung sama niyo si mommy o kaya si daddy o kaya mga kapatid ninyo. Yan. Yan. Actually, meron na akong mga inihandang animal cutouts kasi mahilig ako sa mga hayop. Yan. Meron ako ditong ibon. Yan, bird. Ayan akong duck, butterfly, tsaka frog. Ayan. Pag meron na kayong mga ganito, pwede na tayo mag-umpisa. Ayan, tabi mo. Kunin natin yung old newspaper para hindi tayo magkalat kasi baka magalit si mami tsaka si daddy. Siyempre, ay natin na, na ganun. Ayan. So, kunin na natin yung poster paint. Nilagay ko na siya dito sa, ano, sa takip ng poster paint para hindi na masyado madami, para hindi na tayo magkalat. Ayan. Spili kayo kung anong gusto ninyong kulay, mga favorite color ninyo, pwede ninyong gamitin kahit ano. Ayan. Halimbawa, itong butterfly. Tapos, kukunin nyo na yung cotton buds. Uh, kailangan, kung ilan yung kulay na gagamitin nyo, yun din yung bilang ng cotton buds para hindi halo-halo yung kulay. Halimbawa, gamitin ko muna yung pink kasi alam nyo, favorite color ko yung pink. Konti lang, ididip natin. Tapos, yan. Idadat natin dito. O kaya para tayo maglalagay ng tuldok dun sa pinutol natin na drawing. Yan. Dapat hindi masyado madiin. Dapat light lang. Yan. Ano, parang gumagawa lang tayo ng 
Para naisusulit na kayo ng tuldok. Ayan. Ayan. Pupunoy natin para lang din itong ano yung isipin nyo yung mga taong mahal ninyo. Parang ito yung pagmamahal na binibigay nyo sa kanila. Sinishare ninyo sa ibang tao. Tsaka iba't ibang kulay kasi masaya kayo pag nagbibigay kayo ng pagmamahal sa ibang tao. Ayan. And pink. Ibawa yan. Ayan. Basta kailangan, konti lang yung pag-dip ninyo, tapos konti lang din yung paglagay ninyo ng, ng dots dito para hindi siya kumalat. Kasi pag, ano, pag masyadong madiin, kakalat siya. Papangit na yung gawa ninyo. Ayan. Tapos gusto ko naman, ibang kulay naman. O, violet naman yan. Dito sa loob, yan. Konti lang, yan. Huwag masyadong madiin. Yan. Iniisip ko na yung, yung mami ko, yung daddy ko, yung mga kaklase ko. Ayan, mga ganyan. Yan yung mga nagsisimbolo ng mga pagmamahal na binibigay ko sa kanila. ba diba? hindi, hindi natin ito mabibilang kasi pag tayo nagmahal sa tao, hindi tayo nagbibilang. ba diba? Tapos, ibang kulay naman. Halimbawa, yellow naman. Yan. Kasi masaya tayo, di ba? Kaya yellow. Yan. Ba masyado? Pag nakakita tayo ng yellow, parang parang saya-saya. Ang ganda-ganda nung araw. Yan. Yellow. Yan. Tapos, ibang kulay naman. Green. Yan. Kasi simbolo ng buhay. Pero pwede rin yun rin naman gawin na sa isang ano yung sa drawing ninyo, ihalo-halo yung mga iba't ibang kulay. Hindi pa, pwede rin namang ganun yung halo-haloin ninyo, hindi yung puro pink lang, puro violet, pwedeng halo-halo. Yan. Di ba? Kayang-kaya, madaling-madali. Kahit sino. Pero mas masaya pag may kasama tayo pag ginagawa to, di ba? Kaya kung kasama niyo kaya kasi kung may kasama kay sa bahay, pwedeng pwede yung silang tawagin, gawin niyo to kasama sila. Yan, orange naman. Yan, nagamit na halos nagamit na natin yung iba't ibang kulay. 'Di ba? Basta yung ang ating objective o yung goal natin, mapuno natin, maging makulay para para maging mas masaya siya, 'di ba? Yan. Tapos blue naman. Diba? Maganda rin ang blue. Basta kung ano yung mga paborito ninyo, kulay nyo, gamitin ninyo, pwede nyo halu-haluin. Yan. 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 Actually, meron na akong ginawa na tapos na. Sandali, ako kunin ko. Yan. Dito. Yan. Ito. Yan, ginawa ko. Ito yung sasabi ko sa inyong uh, isang kulay lang sa bawat parte nung ginawa ninyo. Pero pwede rin yung halo-halo katulad nito. Ayan. Ito. Ayan, ba diba? Ganda-ganda. ba diba? Ibat-ibang kulay. Nagsisimbolo ng ating pagiging masaya. Tsaka yung pagbibigay natin ng pagmamahal sa ibang tao. Ayan, ba diba? Tandaan natin, pag tayo, nag, diba, masaya yung pakiramdam natin, lalo-lalo na pag mahal, nagbibigay tayo ng pagmamahal sa ibang tao. Tsaka hindi natin binibilang yung mga binibigay natin na yun sa ibang tao. Yan. O, diba? Ang daling-daling. Ganda-ganda pa. Alam nyo ba kung saan nyo pwedeng gamitin to? O, sige. Isip kayo. Isip. Ayan. Um, pwede nyo gawin tong mobile, yung sasabit ninyo sa kwarto ninyo, yan, para maalala ninyo yung mga iba't ibang hayop, o kaya pwede rin nyo namang sulatan sa likod para ibigay ninyo dun sa mga taong mahal ninyo. Diba, may letter kayo, pwede nyo gamitin yan, pwede nyo isulat sa likod. Bawa, o gusto nyo bigyan yung kapatid ninyo ng, ng note, susulat nyo yan. At least may design na ginawa nyo ng sariling design yung pagbibigay nyo ng note sa kanila. Ayan. ba? Diba?
pinagtatapos ang ating activity na pointillism, sana natutunan natin itong gawin para naman may bahagi natin ito sa mga taong mahal natin. Ulit, ako si Ate Roby para sa Art and Soul, kung saan hindi lang puro art, meron ding pang soul. Ay, sandali lang. Mamaya, sabayan natin si Ate Jonah sumayaw sa pagbabalik ng Mustard TV. One of the cities with a romantic name in the United States is Loveland, Ohio. Time for another Bible Quiz! Bible Quiz! What was man made from? A. Dust of the ground B. Plants of the field C. Mud of the seas or D. Particles of the air the answer is A. Dust of the ground. Tawagin mo na si Mami, si Daddy, at si Ate, si Kuya, at kung sino pang gusto mong tawagin para makapagsimula na tayo ng ating sayaw. Ready ka na ba? O sige, play na natin ang music! That's it for Mustard Jam. See you next week. This is Ate Zona. Bye!
Eagles don't fly, they soar. The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. By best selling author Bo Sanchez, his first children's book ever, and the latest release from Shepherd's Voice Publication. Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Grab your copy now. Available at all leading bookstores nationwide. What's up, kids? Guess who's back? Your Kuya Pal. And look, I have a new hat. And a new haircut. That means we also have a new chapter. Yay! Right. So, are you ready? So come a bit closer. Because in a while, we'll start chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6! Chapter 6! A child is a child no matter what color. Right? Let's begin. Isn't that what life is all about? Beth said in a gruff tone. Our young are taken away from us and eaten alive. Nancy asked. Are you a mother too? Have you also lost your child? Beth looked away, hiding her tears. Mother Eagle, Nancy said, I beg you to let me live, not for my sake, but for the sake of my four children, Betty, Bobby, Bingo, and Billy need me. Why should I? Beth said with bitterness. Can you bring back my child? Nancy shook her head. I cannot. By releasing me, you will gain nothing except the feeling of joy you will get from saving children like your own. My child is not a chicken. She exploded. But a child is a child, no matter what kind, or breed, or color, or size. Gosh, when I think about it, I don't even think my adopted child is a chicken. I don't even know what kind of bird he is. But I love him as my own. Beth couldn't control her emotions. She broke down and sobbed for a very, very, very long time. <sighs> Nancy remained quiet throughout Beth's crying. Somehow, she forgot her own pain or even the grave danger that she was in. She even stopped praying for herself and even prayed for her captor. Beth's sobbing finally stopped. She turned around and gently picked up Nancy with her claws. The flight was relaxed, slow enough for a good conversation. Nancy broke the silence. Eagle, what is your name? Beth, she muttered softly. My name is Nancy. What is the name of your child, Beth? I don't even know if my child was a boy or a girl. I lost my egg. As Beth told her story, Nancy was barely listening. She was overwhelmed by the thought that she was actually flying. Oh, how she wished her children could see what she was seeing now. As they flew down, Nancy saw her four chicks huddled together in a distance. She couldn't contain her joy. She called on them, Bobby, Betty, Bingo, Billy! As the eagle gently placed her down, Nancy ran to her children. The four chicks ran to her 
and they embraced each other with tears and laughter. Beth watched the scene and smiled sadly. But something caught her attention. There was something different with one of Nancy's children. Beth moved closer. Instinctively, Nancy covered her young with her wings. Nancy, you mentioned that one of your children is adopted. Yes, Nancy said. Boy, big toes. Can I see him? Nancy folded her wing. Betty, Bobby, Bingo, and Billy all trembled at the sight of the giant bird in front of them. Beth smiled when she saw the biggest child. My name is Beth, and you must be Billy, she said, looking at him directly. Y yes, he said with a trembling voice. You run like a chicken, Beth chuckled. <laughs> Shouldn't I? Billy asked. You move like a chicken. You cackle like a chicken, and you even look like a chicken. <laughs> she continued to laugh. What's so funny? Billy asked. Because, Billy, you are not a chicken. I, I, I'm, I'm not. Billy glanced at Nancy. She shook her head. Then what am I? He asked Beth. Billy, she smiled at him. You are an eagle like me. No one was able to speak after that. Even the wind stopped moving. Wind, wind, no wind. The wind stopped moving. You want to hear more? Well, you've got to tune in next time because next week we will continue the story Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Once again, I'm your Kuya Pao. And remember, God is here, God is there, God is where? Everywhere! Bye! Na, 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 na. Did you know that the declaration of God's great love for us is in John 3.16? Time for another Bible Quiz! Bible Quiz! Of what specifically was man not allowed to eat? A. Tree of life B. Fruit of the field C. Tree of knowledge of good and evil Or D. Apple tree the answer is C, Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil. Hey kids, I hope you're enjoying the show. Meanwhile, we're going to have Ate Jonah in School 101. Welcome to School 101. I am Ate Jonah. You know, I was thinking of what tips to give you today, and I thought you might need some help with asking permission from mom and dad. Permission for what? Well, for going out to play, sleeping over at your friend's place, or asking your friends to come over to your house.
Now here are three tips for you to hear your mom and dad say, yes, you may. First, always begin your request with, may I? Our parents deserve our respect. And when we ask permission, it's really a request and not a demand. So you can say it properly by saying, for example, may I go out and play? Second, tell the truth. Your parents would really appreciate it if you'd be very, very honest with them. What if they go out and check on you and you're not in the place where you told them you'll be? Do you think they'll let you out again next time you ask for permission? Think about that. Third, stick with your curfew. If mom and dad tells you to be home after an hour, make sure that you're home by then. If you follow them and you show them that you know how to stick to your curfew, there will be no problem next time you ask for permission. So there you go kids, three easy tips for you when asking permission from mom and dad. Till next time, bye! Stories from the Big Book Hey kids, sit back, relax, it's storytelling time. You know what? I'm going to tell you the story of Danny. Danny was a young bandit. Oh, he was an excellent thief. He'd wear a Halloween mask and scare off people and enter their houses and steal their DVDs and TVs so they couldn't watch Mustard TV. Boy, I cannot believe me not watching my own self in Mustard TV. Anyway, well, Danny, he grew up as an excellent thief. Thief. Oh man, he was so fast at speeding, he could steal in the blink of the eye. He could even outrun the Flash. Wow, that's really fast. You know what? They say that Flash, he's so fast that he could walk through walls. But can you believe that Danny, that excellent thief, is even faster than that? I guess he's even faster than the speed of light. Whoa, that's really tough. But one day, while he wasn't looking, the police caught him. Huff! He was caught. He was brought to the court. The judges called him guilty. And he was guilty? Oh, the judges chose. Since of all of his bad things he's done, he need to be crucified. You know, while he was being crucified, there was a stranger right beside him. He had long hair and a beard. And you know what his name is? If you guess that's right, it's J E S U. Jesus was just right beside him, being crucified just right beside him at the same time. Can you believe that? Danny told Jesus that Please remember me as you go back to heaven. And you know what Jesus said? Guess what? He said You still can't get it? Well, he said From this day, you shall go with me to heaven. That's the story of Danny. Can you believe how Jesus they gave Danny the excellent thief who was so sorry. So, kids, remember that story. It might help you in your lifetime. Till next time, this is Brennan Sanchez 
with stories from the big book, aka Mr. Storytime. Spot the difference. Look for what's different in the two pictures. Tingnan yung mabuti. Oh, may nakita na ba kayo? Sige, hanap lang. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. There are five different things in this picture. Did you see them? The poet, Alfred Tennyson, wrote the famous line, "'Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have love at all." Time for another Bible Quiz! Bible Quiz! What did God say about everything that He had made? A. It was good B. It was okay C. It was satisfactory D. It was wonderful. The answer is A. It was good. I love saints. Want to know who this week's saint is? Here's Ate Marie. This week's saint! This week's saint, Blessed Antonia Messina. Buongiorno, or it means good day in Italian. Do you know that our this week's saint, Blessed Antonia Messina was born in Sardonia, Italy in 1919. Her mother, Grazia, describes Antonia as the flower of her life who never went against her. Antonia was an obedient and hardworking daughter. When her mother got sick of a heart condition, Antonia stopped schooling and took over her mother's household duties. She went to school for only four years. One day, when Antonia was 16 years old, she and her friend went to the forest to gather firewood. On the way home, a boy attacked Antonia from behind. Antonia fought back and struggled while her friend screamed and ran for help. Antonia managed to escape twice, but she was knocked down the third time and was badly beaten by a rock. She died that fateful day. Antonia was beatified by Pope John Paul II on October 4, 1987. So remember the life of Blessed Antonia Messina, a hardworking and obedient daughter. How many times can you find the word love in this puzzle?
10 seconds left. Time's up! You can find the word love five times in this puzzle. Did you see them? Lots of problems. That's a good one, Hallelujah. Hey, Francine, how long does it take a gymnast to reach class? How long? In a split second. <laughs> How do athletes stay cool in the game? How, Francine? They stay close to the fan. <laughs> the better one, please. <laughs> Why can't the Dalmatian hide? Why? Because he's already spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? I sure did. So kids, see you next week. Same time, same channel on Mustard TV. Where we sow seeds of fun. And faith. Ako si Bene. Ako si Francine. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye.